Hello, it's Ricardo, and welcome back to Elite Dangerous. With the new Type 8 update, or 18.08, .08, that frontier do not want you the updates to be known by, everyone's been focusing on the ships. Everyone's been focusing on the engineering rebalance. But there is an aspect of all of this that not a lot of people are actually considering or focusing on. And that's the changes around suit capacity. How much can you carry? Now we should all be familiar, especially if you're an Odyssey player with this group of vendors. These people, they provide pioneer supplies. This is your guns, this is your suits, this is your e-breaches, your grenades, your power packs, your med packs. But we're talking about suits and suit capacity. We're gonna start off looking at the Maverick suit, a, a suit very close to my heart, something that I think is absolutely fantastic. And this is the standard configuration as the game is prior to the Type 8 update, or Update 18.08. .08. As you can see with this update, we've got the stats on the right-hand side. Goods capacity is at 15, assets capacity is at 30, and data capacity is at 10. This is a standard suit, grade 1, with no engineering. This is what you get when you buy it straight from the man or the lady. Now this is my upgraded grade 5. Maverick suit that I use on a game daily basis, shall we say, uh, that has been upgraded with extra backpack capacity, which is going to affect directly the storage. As you can see here, the goods capacity is 30, 60, and 20. Let's put them together and get a comparison. Now we can see with a bit of engineering here from a certain engineer, the improved backpack capacity doubles the amount of storage that you can use. And this is in the standard game as it stands before the update. You can see I've got 30 goods capacity, 60 assets capacity, and the data capacity is there at 20. Now, with the Type 8 update, that's gonna change. Now here you can see, here is a suit post Type 8 update from the test server I got granted access to. The goods capacity have increased significantly to the point where I've got the same asset carrying capacity that I would have had if I had put in extra backpack space as an engineered modification. So I've got 60, 40 for goods and 20 for data capacity. Now here's my engineered suit with the extra backpack capacity. You can see I'm up to goods capacity of 80, assets of 120 and data capacity of 40. You could really clear up probably two settlements with that should you have the capacity back home to store all this stuff. We put them side by side and we can see obviously good capacity is with the engineered backpack is up to 80, goods is there to 40, still an increase in what we had before. Assets capacity is up to 120 from 60 and data capacity is up to 40 to 20. So it's still a viable upgrade to put in if you want to completely and utterly shop those settlements out and store everything without having to worry. Now, for those of you who like a little bit of exobiology, the Artemis suit has also had a tweak with its good capacity from 10 to 20, its assets capacity from 20 to 40, and data remains the same at 10, though you can put a backpack upgrade on there as well. What you'd want a backpack for, I don't know, unless Frontier has not released another in-game event that's going to get people in those Artemis suits out and scanning. Now if the Dominator suit and getting your on-foot pews on is your bag, and that's what you like to do, this heavily armoured suit will have its good carrying capacity increase from 5 to 10, Assets 10 to 20, but again, data remains the same, 10 to 10. Do you think these changes are for the better in Elite Dangerous? What do you think's lacking? Personally, I think greater storage at the back end that you can, well, all the stuff that you can collect should be able to be increased as well, whether that be ship storage for modules and additional storage for more engineering materials. But that's just me. You let me know in the comments. I've been Ricardo. This has been all about suit capacity in the Type 8 update. I'll see you soon.